bro. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Aizawa's going to be broken. Aizawa is definitely going to be broken in Ultra Rumble, and here's why. So, Ultra Rumble is a game that exists, and I'm happy that it's a game that exists. But there are a few characters that we probably should have gotten sooner, but I'm glad that we're getting Aizawa now. But for his balance state in this game, I think that Aizawa is definitely going to be a hard counter character to specific characters more specifically in my mind i think sue is going to be definitely one of those characters that gets mega uber countered by aizawa simply for the fact that sue relies on her abilities i feel like more than most of the cast um especially since she's that hit and run type character that shows up hits you for a lot of damage disappears and then you just never see her again and so you're conveniently at low health or trying to res a teammate and then she just murders you so yeah, I think Aizawa is definitely going to be one of those characters that could just look at her. Obviously, that's how it's going to work. Look at her, disable her abilities, and then you just jump her like it's in JJK. Um, but yeah, Aizawa is definitely going to be super hyper mega strong. And I think that this game is definitely, definitely going to suffer from some power creep that a lot of other battle royales and games in general suffer from when it comes to adding new DLC characters and adding incentives to those DLC characters to make them good and make them strong enough to actually work in the game and actually keep up with the meta. And right now, the meta is basically just do as much damage as you fucking can and then just murder someone in one hit. Because you don't want a prolonged fight in this game because you're just going to waste too much shit. Basically, as always, going to be that kind of anti-meta character that forces you to have those long, drawn-out fights that you wouldn't really want to normally take on the characters that you really want to do damage with like heavy heavy damage with like characters like kirishima it's definitely going to hurt a lot of characters that definitely want to get into those like quick early burst shot ranges that want to end you in two seconds um like pre-patch bakugo but now he's nerfed still good though i don't know i hope no one's saying that he's bad he's still good though so is deku but yeah, it's always definitely going to be a hard counter character to characters that definitely rely more on their abilities than most characters. I know that every character relies on their abilities, and Aizawa is definitely going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. But I think they might balance that out with him being lower on the general defensive side, but then like higher on the actual offensive side and the use of his quirk. But yeah, I think that Aizawa is definitely going to be a very strong character. Probably broken, knowing how Biking is with new kind of like unique character gimmicks and unique character effects i definitely see that this character is definitely going to fall under that type of being broken but luckily by king's been listening so if he is broken for like i don't know a couple of weeks maybe like eh, like a couple weeks to a month ish i'm sure that they'll fix it and make him so that way he's in a balanced fun state for everyone they don't murder him but they haven't been really uh, they haven't been murdering characters, but they've only been lowering the power level. So I definitely see that as always definitely going to come out strong, because that's like the main tactic for DLC in games. Make it so that way they're strong, so that yeah, way you got big incentive to get him, besides him being just a fan favorite. So that way, when you nerf him later on, hopefully they don't murder him off of it. Then, yeah, they'll be able to, you know, make him more balanced in the future. But yeah, I definitely think that as always going to come out heavy hitting, heavy swing, shaping up the metagame, kind of just destroying those characters that kind of need their abilities to actually get really strong movement or really strong damage so yeah that's basically all i wanted to say make sure to like comment subscribe um i'm back and i'll see you guys later bye